13 August 2023, Sunday, 11.15 a.m. <clears throat> Recording. When I record, if I have an earbud in, you'll have a transmission coming out of my brain area in the TMJ. You'll create a feedback. And it depends on where the signals are coming through. right temporal, the back right occipital become affected. Now if I take it out, you don't get the same feedback. This is recording. I don't know if you can see it. I think it says recording. So I can, I'll stop the recording. I'll start the recording here. Just to show you there's no tricks. Put the earbud in. And my body's emitting a signal, a radio frequency signal. When you take it out from in, within the same area, you don't get a feedback. I could even put it around it or whatever. No feedback. Stick it back into the biology or the ear canal. So let me explain. <clears throat> it is the offensive weaponized use of a bi-directional closed loop brain computer interface. It has been done without my consent, against my will, and it is used in an offensive, weaponized manner. It's a military-grade weapon, biological, technological weapon. They consider it a weapon of mass destruction because it can deliberately alter in an offensive, weaponized manner to deliberately impair, disrupt, disorganize the cognitive, your cognitive, motor, central nervous system, and or behavioral outcomes. It can be used for torture. It can be used offensively to shut someone down in order to attack them. You can be guided to do things and then your memory is erased from what is done. All of those type of things is a weapon of mass destruction. The Department of Defense here at the Naval Postgraduate School, along with their partners at the Defense Language Institute, I mean, I'm sorry, the Defense Advanced Research Project Agencies, DARPA's M3 or Neurotechnology third generation. They're using civilians as human guinea pigs and they're allowing. So a bi-directional is a wireless capability like a heart pacemaker or brain, multiple brain implants at the nano or micro nano scale that attach to the living cells, crosses the blood brain barrier. From that point, that information feeds into a dedicated biometric or biometric base station. So if it were a heart pacemaker, it would be sending your, your, the rhythm of your heart goes into a dedicated server and there's an end user. Now in the good context, it would be a doctor who might log in or the patient calls and the doctor looks at it and decides to increase or decrease the heartbeats per minute in order to regulate it. He sends the signal, he or she sends the, alters it, computerized, alters how many beats per minute it is, hits the send button, goes through the server, from the server goes into the base station, the biometric base station, and then goes to the wireless implanted device. And it alters. Well, now look at it from the brain perspective, the Defense Advanced Research Project Agency, 
along with their corporate and academic counterparts. Battelle is one of them, Carnegie Mellon. And they're all working on this bi-directional brain-computer interface, artificial intelligence. So every time I feed my EEG signals, artificial intelligence is learning about patterns, about what neurons affect what portions of the body. And so these motherfucking assholes in corporate and academia sit there and they think people are human guinea pigs. But when they use it offensively to allow the, 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 I'm the I become the receiver, I'm the receiving end of what senders are doing. They're allowing the senders, say another uh, human, to be able to come back on me, attack me, torture me, kinetically and violently oppose me. And they have a civilian cult of sleeper cells that they radicalize into violent extremism, committing indiscriminate acts of violence because they wanna see how the bi-directional works. Allow this group to be senders and we'll use the human guinea pig on Erdley Avenue in Pacific Grove, California to be the receiver. And people come up and they target. And where do you have and who's controlling the electromagnetic environment? Well, classified information operations at the Naval Postgraduate School in Monterey, California. So if you're going to train your soldiers to come up on, say, Russians or Chinese, and you have this stuff that's already out in the atmosphere, and they get to be senders, they could walk up on someone, stab them, slit their throat, and then walk away. And that's what they do to me. Constantly. Let's see what these people will do, and then she won't know that they're coming because we have blinded her visual, uh, spatial and auditory so that when they come around or they blind my visual cortex or standing right in front of me or they take things from my house or they get me to go out and do something that has destroyed my body. This is my government under the Department of Defense, which really runs this country at this point. And they're doing this to their own fucking citizens. These people deserve to be executed for using a biological, technological weapon of mass destruction and be charged with seditious treason because they've decided that they want to rule the world and make everybody else their neurological slaves. State corporate and academia sponsored, sanctioned, and covered the fuck up. So again, this is what emits from my body. So in a bi-directional, you have to have a radio frequency signal because it's all wireless. If you're, if you're creating a brain-computer interface, that's artificial intelligence. Every signal that my human brain sends out teaches a digital neural network in artificial intelligence the patterns of thought, body motions, what neurons are firing when my hands are moving like this. And they're taking it and sucking the life out of innocent people and then turning around and acting like they don't know what's going on. But I live with this and frequencies and high frequency pitches. No tricks here. You take it out of the air, put it in the same direction. Where's the feedback? Put it into the biology or at least the air canal. I didn't give anyone permission to do this shit to me. And I want the people who did it executed for high treason and biotech terrorism. Because that makes them terrorist. And it's different signals. So there's a pulsing and then there'll be a high screech. Try it the other way. 
and I can hear the sound of, it's almost like a, um, because it echoes in the uh, earbuds. This is what my government did to me without my consent. And it's not just the government. It's basically the Department of Defense, DARPA, their corporate and academic counterparts. And they think to use my private living space as their fucking laboratory. Now, again, take it out. You don't get the same feedback. It's because the emission is coming through this area in the TMJ and it feeds out into that base station in a closed loop bi-directional brain computer interface. Again, it's used in a weaponized offensive manner to deliberately impair cognitive motor central nervous system. Can you imagine listening to a screech like that? Because you hear it. And that's not tinnitus, motherfuckers. That's a radio frequency electromagnetic signal emitting from my body and then being received into the brain through the ear. Because acoustically, if you had digital coding, it's like Morse code being tapped right into your brain It's a biological, technological weapon of mass destruction. And I swear under penalty of perjury that I am the victim of non-consensual human experimentation. And I want the individuals involved to be criminally prosecuted, hunted as biotech terrorists and executed for high treason against our own people.